Let me introduce to you the managing editor for Albuquerque Business First, and we're happy to have a nice partnership going with the, the folks at Albuquerque Business First. Here's Rachel Sams, who joins us here this morning. Hi, Rachel. Hi, great to be here. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for joining us. So this is your first time here. So thank you. Thank you for starting your morning off so early with us. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. It's a great way to start the day. Oh, great. What's, what's going on down there with you guys? Huh? So um, we uh, had a really interesting uh, cover story last week. It was, uh, it was neat to work on. Um, we focused on education, and that might be kind of surprising um, for folks who might wonder, well, why is Albuquerque Business First writing about education? But it's actually one of the biggest issues that business people in New Mexico face trying to find a workforce that has the skills that they need. Yes. Um, we hear often from folks that they're not able to find um, the workers with, um, with the skills and the abilities that they're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, so there's actually, um, there was a school started here. It was actually started by the local Associated General Contractors Group. ACE, right? ACE, yes. yeah. They were struggling to find workers um, with the skills that were needed for construction. Um, so they started their own school. It's a public charter school. And um, the thing about it that's interesting is it's not a VOTEC. It's not what you would think of as a yeah. traditional vocational school. Mm -hmm. um, you, uh, the students learn by doing actual construction projects, but they learn not just you know, the basics of how to build a building. They learn how to bid on projects, um, how to handle the finances of a construction company. So they're learning all their subjects and earning their diploma while actually building stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And this model has actually spread now to a health-focused high school and um, there's one on innovation and technology in the works. Um, so it's, it's an interesting model that I think a lot of business people are, are looking at and seeing, could this address some of the issues that we face finding skilled workers? Right, and a lot of people aren't too familiar. Um, so this is a, these are all charter schools, which are public schools right. as well. Right, exactly, exactly. Um, and the kids are earning uh, their diploma. They take mm -hmm. the graduation test that everyone else does. Um, they're just not spending their whole day, you know, sitting in a desk and listening to a lecture. Um, yeah. There's a lot of research that's shown that not everybody learns well that way. You know, some people, some kids do, but um, different styles of learning work for different folks. This is really interesting. I'm, uh, my wife and I met a teacher yesterday in a restaurant. We just struck up a conversation and, and we were talking about what the emphasis is in, in school. This particular teacher teaches middle school. And the, the district seems to still have this notion that all kids should go to college. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she says that's very frustrating because not all kids belong in college. Right. And yet that seems to be the, the mantra, if you will, that the APS people are pushing forward. And that, so this charter school idea, I think is, is a fantastic idea. It's creative, it's out of the box thinking, and it's a different approach. Yeah, the goal is actually to prepare kids if they wanna go on either track. If they wanna right. go to college, they'll have the skills they need, mm -hmm. but if they wanna go straight into the workforce, they'll also be really prepared for that. Yeah, and there's another charter school. It's uh, focused on like film and that type of thing as well. So if you know you're in eleventh grade or tenth grade, and you're like, well, I want to go to school for this, you can just go to the charter school, which I think is it's, it is it's a great idea. Um, and so, why are businesses so interested in these schools? Um, the thing about it, another thing about it that's really different from uh, the traditional school model is, you know, usually to create what you're going to study in school, a group of educators yeah. get together in a room and, and they, they put it They'll together. They'll be ready. Right. And then, yeah. you know, kids get spit out the other side and hopefully they have the skills they need. Um, in this model, um, business is involved from the beginning in sort of shaping things that people study, um, kind of targeting the right. skills that they need and um, knowing exactly what kids will come out with. We have just a little over a minute. I want to get to the Sustainable Business Summit yeah, this that is, you uh, folks are sponsoring. This is a really neat um, thing that we're doing. It's focused on uh, green business and sustainable business, which just means um, making good use of the resources that you have. Ooh. And um, we're recognizing folks with an awards program. Um, we had a uh, panel of judges who are experts in sustainability to select these companies. We'll also be providing information um, uh, sessions about different topics related to sustainable business. And the reason this is a business issue is it's more than just a feel-good thing or the right thing to mm -hmm. do. It can give a business a competitive advantage if they can show that they're being responsible in the way they do business. Customers often like to see that. Um, and if 
uh, in some ways, uh, it's possible to save money that way, uh, energy efficiency and, and other improvements of that nature. Very nice. And have those winners been announced yet, or do we you have to have, attend? We've announced the, uh, the honorees. There are 14 honorees. They range from uh, big organizations to individuals to smaller okay. companies. And we'll actually reveal the winners at the event.